13 News Weekend with Lauren Baker. One year ago today, Illinois health officials confirmed the first case of COVID-19 in our state. You're looking right now behind Kristen and James are live at the scene where we have team coverage. Today, Americans received two big announcements that could impact their families and their health. One being the approval of a vaccine, another focused on giving some type of relief. Tonight, we start with the vaccine. We break into your regular scheduled programming tonight to bring you an update on a mass shooting in Rockford. Entertainment venues in Rockford are teaming up to improve the community and themselves. Three major downtown attractions are pledging their support to plan to address diversity and inclusion. Let's turn things over to weekend meteorologist Tommy Owens, who has been tracking this snow. And Tommy, from my understanding, this winter storm could pack a punch. And in positive local news, you can get into the holiday spirit and potentially win some goodies just by building a gingerbread house. I like compare it to, you know, other places where it's really hot outside. You can like right. bake cookies or fry an egg. egg. You can freeze pants here. Like it's that cold here. Many people are enjoying a three day weekend and a break from work on this Labor Day. Others are still struggling to find or return to work due to the COVID-19 pandemic. You and the 13 weather team have been tracking this snow since Friday. And I think everyone wants to know how much snow did we get? We break into your regular scheduled programming tonight to bring you an update on a mass shooting in Rockford. Just this morning, authorities provided an update on the tragedy at Don Carter Lanes on Saturday that left three people dead and three others injured. Today, we now know the victim's ages and the name of the suspect in the case. Meanwhile, authorities hunt for clues for why this tragedy happened, say they believe it was random and that the suspect did not know any of the victims. And that suspect is 37-year-old Duke Webb. Rockford Police Chief Dan O'Shea says he is a Florida native, an active military service member in the Army. He was taken into custody last night and has since been charged with three counts of first degree murder and three counts of attempted murder. We are also learning more about the victims in last night's shootings. Among those dead are a 73 year old man, 65 year old man, and a 69 year old man. Two teenagers who were there to pick up carry out orders were injured. A 14 year old boy was shot in the face and airlifted to Madison where he is recovering. A 16-year-old girl was shot in the shoulder and has been released from the hospital. And a 62-year-old man was shot several times and was in surgery overnight. Chief O'Shea says his condition is critical. From 13 WREX, your weather authority, this is 13 News Weekend. Breezy Sunday, a wind advisory starts tonight at midnight as breezy winds make their way to the state line. How long they'll stick around. Plus, a fatal crash. One person is dead after being involved in a head-on collision. Details from officials. And helping those in need, hear how a local parent and teacher organization is trying to help families during the holidays. Good evening and welcome to 13 News Weekend. I'm Lauren Baker. We'll get to those top stories in just a moment, but tonight we start with weather as gusty winds begin to hit the state line. And weekend meteorologist Tommy Owens has joined us. And Tommy, what can we expect from these winds? All right, thank you, Tommy. A head-on collision early this morning leaves one person dead. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Department says the crash happened in the 5600 block of North Meridian Road just before 6 a.m. Officials say two cars struck each other head on, causing one of them to catch on fire. The driver of that vehicle died and the other driver was taken to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. And this comes just one day after a man and woman were killed after getting hit by a car. It happened last night on Route 251 in Forest Hills between Machesney Park and Roscoe. Deputies say they were trying to cross the street when they were hit. Details are still limited on this accident, but what we do know is that this was not a hit and run. The investigation is still ongoing. And in positive local news today, dozens of people in the state line got an early start on their Christmas shopping, all while helping others. 13's reporter William Ingle shows us how these customers wanted their purchase to have a purpose. Purchase with a purpose helped raise over $45,000 for international organizations over the last two years. A local school parent and teacher organization is helping families get the things they need during the pandemic. Rockton PTO hosted its annual food drive, which collects food for the Old Stone Food Pantry. People were encouraged to drop off things like non-perishable food items at the Rock 
blocked in grade school parking lot. With the holiday season just weeks away, the PTO says it wanted to make sure all families could enjoy the holidays this year. Good evening and welcome to 13 News Weekend. I'm Lauren Baker. For months, cities, states, and even countries have been fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. And even though some strides have been made, today the world hit another sobering milestone in the battle. The number of coronavirus cases around the world has passed 50 million. Data from John Hopkins University reports the global tally surpassed the 50 million mark this morning. More than 1.2 million people have died from COVID-19 globally. But the milestones don't stop there. Today, NBC News numbers reports the U.S. has surpassed 10 million confirmed cases. Just alone today, NBC reported more than 67,000 new cases. The United States has maintained the highest number of infections during the pandemic. Texas leads the country with over 1 million confirmed cases, followed by California. The current number of the coronavirus death stands at more than 239,000. And back here in our area, it was a beautiful day in the state line, adding to what feels like a wave of warmth during the fall months. Take a look at this drone video we got this morning. This was at Rock Cut State Park, and as you can see, the weather was just simply lovely today. There was a couple of clouds in the sky, but it definitely did not feel like fall. But we weren't the only ones enjoying the fun at the park. Plenty of families were out catching some sun and even fishing. We spoke to one family who says they want to get out of the house during this warm weather. Me and the grandkids decided to just come out and try and catch a few fish. They haven't done it very much this year, but they don't look to be biting yet. Well, I hope she did get a chance to get some fish. I mean, it was a beautiful day to be out there, Tommy. I mean, it did not feel like fall at all. What did you get a chance to go out or anything? And it was a smashing time at the Discovery Center Museum today as people got their chance to smash some pumpkins. The museum hosted its annual Smashing Pumpkin event. It says it wanted to give a new perspective on Newton's laws of motion as jack-o'-lanterns flew through the air. People were able to try the new Mighty Mallet, smash the tine, or enjoy the crowd pleaser, the giant catapult. You're watching 13 News Weekend with Lauren Baker on your weather authority.